Hello, Margarita. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Fine, thanks. Perfect, welcome to the class. Thanks. Hello, Marilyn. Hello, teacher. How are you today? It was, it was fine, teacher. How is it going? Yeah, very nice here. Okay. Okay. We're going to wait one or two minutes while the other people come into the class. Okay, okay teacher. Hello, Elvis, how are you? Hello, Joanna, welcome. Thank you. Perfect. So let's see, we're about to start. Okay, so we're about to start. Uh, so for first of all, how are you doing with the platform? Did you finish the section four already? Yes, I finished, I finished. section four. Perfect. Yes, so, I finished. Nice. Yes, I finished. Very good. So to start today, we're going I to finished. check the, um, we're going to check all the section four just in case you have any questions, okay? Okay. Okay, let me just go there by now. Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you, Kyle? Hi. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Okay, here is it, finally. Okay, so, um, Margarita, could you please help me reading this adjective? Yes. <clears throat> Um, just uh, practice asking and answering questions in English using the present perfect and simple past tense. In this lesson, English teacher Joe uh, Science explains when use simple past verses the present perfect tense depending on the time frame on the action practice asking questions in the present perfect using have you ever and describing your past exercises by responding in both the present perfect and simple past this lesson includes an english oral comprehension exercise perfect thank you so um, this is like the explanation that we have about uh, two, the two of those, uh, the present perfect and the simple past. Um, and of course, after that one, we had a knowledge check about uh, this uh, reading and uh, the other part. Uh, do you have any question about this? No teacher. No, no teacher. Nice. No teacher. Then we have the other objective. Uh, let's see. Joanna, could you please help me reading this this one? Yes. Um, let's see. Sequence adverbs are used to help 
describe a progression of events often used in recipes, recipes. Recipes. Or recipes, I'm sorry. Recipes or instructions. Sequence of verse such as first, then, next, after that, and finally contain information about the order of action and create natural transition in writing. In this lesson from English teacher Joe Zenz, practice describing recipes in English using sequence adverbs. This lesson includes an English oral comprehension exercise. Very good. So um, in this one, we have like a video uh, checking about uh, recipes. That's why yesterday we were checking about that one. So there are like steps for you to create something. And then we have the knowledge check. Uh, that is just for you to check the correct answer. Do you have any question about this? Not no. Okay, very good. Okay, so that was about the platform and then we're going to start with the class itself. Let me just check here. Okay. So this is going to be, um, I believe a very easy topic will versus uh, going to. So let's check first about will. So we have uh, that will is going to be just when you have a fast decision, something that you, have, you just decided to do. So you say, I'm thirsty. I think I will buy a drink. So you just made the decision and then you are going to use will. Also, when you offer, help, things, any situation like that. For example, that looks heavy. I will help you with it. So we're going to use will. When you promise, you are going to use also will. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. Of course, that is the negative part, right? That is uh, the contraction of will not. And when you threat somebody, when you have a menace and you are threatening the person or situation, you can say, or you can use will. If you don't stop, I will tell your mother. So this is when you are telling other people to stop doing something or you are menacing something. Refusal, when you refuse to do something. Uh, this is very common actually in English. Uh, she won't listen to anything I say, okay? So this is not like future. This is it's like when you don't want or the subject in the sentence doesn't want to do something that the person refuses. So we are going to use wants or will, of course. Okay. Do you have any questions about will and the usage? No, no but... What okay. Threat means. I'm sorry. Threat. Uh, threat is, for example, what can I say? An example. Threat is um, when somebody on the street comes with a gun, mm -hmm. and when that person says, "I'm going to," I don't know, "Give me your cell phone," for example, or "I go," I'm going to do something bad to you. So that is a threat. When this, he says, "I'm going to do something bad to you," that is a threat. Okay. Okay, good. Thanks. You're welcome. Then we have going to. We're going to use going to when you have a prior plan. So the decision was made before the moment of speaking. So when you plan ahead, you are going to use going to. For example, I'm going to the beach next weekend with my friends. So this is something that you planned before. So we are going to use going to. Also, when we have evidence or signs. So when there are signs that something is likely to happen. So when you believe that it's almost certain that something is going to happen. For example, 
My stomach hurts a lot and I think I am going to throw up. So that means that it's almost sure that you are going to do an action. Uh, the other one says it's 70 zero. They're going to win. That means that, I mean, it's almost impossible that that changes. Then we're going to use going to. But do you know what is throw up? Nobody? When you, when you feel sick of your stomach <clears throat> and you ate something and then you back the food. That is it, very good. So throw up is like a synonym of vomit, but it's very, it's very popular to say um, throw up. Some people also say puke. So that is very common as well. Okay, um, any questions about going to? No. Okay, we have a little bit more. <laughs> you can use both will and going to for making predictions. So you can say, for example, I think it will rain tomorrow. And also you can say, I think it is going to rain tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So for predictions that are not certain, you can use either will or going to. So we can uh, do a little comparison here. So for example, in mind that somebody asks you, are you busy this evening? So, the first part says, I haven't made any plans. I think I will probably watch TV, okay? I'm going, or I'm probably going to watch TV. Here in this example, will and going to are both possible here because we are predicting that will happen because nothing is planned. On the other hand, it says, yes, I'm going to go or I'm going to the movies. Only going to is possible because this is a prior plan. So um, that is it. So you can say, I'm going to the movies. So that is another way for you to use the future. And also remember that in spoken English, uh, we say going to as a gonna, right? That is not proper. It's like not the proper grammar. But it's something that happens, right? It's like when we say in Spanish, in Spanish we are at the end, right? So we understand, but it's not correct. <laughs> but we can use, okay? Perfect. Do you okay. have? I'm sorry. No, just okay. Ah, okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, nice. Um, then we are going to practice. Uh, let me see here. Let me check here. I'm going to show you an exercise so we can start a practice. Hold on a second. Mm, it's not opening. I'm sorry for the delay. Let's sit. Okay. Okay, so check. Okay, now I'm ready. Okay, so we are going to uh, decide what is the best option in this exercise. So it's kind of easy, I guess. Will or be going to? Have you got any plans for tomorrow? Yes. Uh huh. What do you think is will or I'm going to? I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to. Everybody agrees? Yes. Okay, yes, I am going to visit my grandparents. Good. Number two says, why is she learning Spanish? She? 
Wait. Will. 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 Okay, everybody agrees on this one. Number three, we are thirsty. Wait here. I'm Will. going to. I'm going to. Going to. Okay, yeah. Will. We have. I'm going. <laughs> Will I will get some water? No. Yeah, it says wait here. I, I'm going to, or I will. What do you think? Good night. Good evening. I will. No, good evening. Will I'm going to? Okay. I will get go. I will get some water. Yes. Okay. So the most of you say will. I'm going to take will. Number four says meat or fish. I'm going to. I'm going to. Yes. Okay. Number five. What do you want the keys for? I. I will. I will close the door. I will. Yes. I okay, number six. If you don't take a taxi, you won't arrive on time. Okay. Number seven. Why do you want so many oranges? I am going to. I will. I will. I will make. An orange juice. Will, will. Okay, only one says going to, so I'm yeah. going to take will. Uh, number eight. Oh, I haven't got enough money to pay. Don't worry. I lend you some. I, 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 lend, I will lend you some. Okay, we have only I'm going to a one, and so I'm going to take will. We need one more player. Are you going to, Are you going to play that will. tomorrow? Will. Will you play? Will you play tomorrow? Are you going to with you tomorrow? Will. Are you going to the going to the you most of you say will. Tomorrow. Okay. Let's see how it goes. And the last one, number 10 says, why are you switching on the TV? I will. I'm going, going to a football match. Mm, we have half and a half. Going to or will? What do you think? I'm going, going to. I'm going to. Going to. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what happens. Okay, you have sixty. <laughs> <laughs> let's analyze okay so the first one i'm going to yes definitely because yeah. you say when well, the question is have you got some plans and you say yes it's like yes i have plans right so you plan before in the second one why is she learning english okay in this one is kind of tricky because she is going to yeah, it's, it's going to because, I mean, if she is learning Spanish, it's because she has the plan, right? It's maybe. Yeah, it's not that she just decided or is, uh, if she is going to travel to Spain, I mean, that's why she is uh, learning Spanish. And, of course, that is a plan that she has, right? So that's why this is going to. Um, the other one says, we are thirsty, we're here, I will get. So that is offer. When you offer, it's going to be well. Okay, in this one, uh, is meat or fish. This is I'll, because it's a decision that I just made right now. Okay, so when you go to a restaurant and you don't know what you're going to eat, and then uh, you see the menu and you say, okay, I'm going to take this one. So that is a decision Ooh. that you just made. So that's why. Is going to be I will. Okay. okay. The other one, on the other hand, says, "What do you want the keys for?" Okay, this is going I'm to going be to, I'm going I'm to going close because that's something that I really want to do. It right? it's not like a prediction. 
Number seven is the other one that is not correct. Why do you want so many oranges? Okay, in this one also is tricky. It's kind of di difficult because uh, it's not only the sentence. I mean, if I ask you, why do you want so many oranges? It's because you have a lot of oranges, right? Maybe in the supermarket and you have a lot of oranges and I say, hey, hey, why do you want so many oranges? So you say, I'm going to, because you planned that before. Yeah. So you were in your house sitting and you say, I need oranges. I want orange juice. And you go and buy a lot of orange juice. So that is like a plan. That's why he's going to. I'm going to. That is it. As you can see, you might think that it's very easy, right? But sometimes it's kind of difficult to to decide not only what you are going to use, but also when you're speaking. Sometimes when we speak, we use will or going to in any situation, but it's not correct. We need to understand when we're going to use one and when we're going to use the other one, okay? Do you have any questions about this exercise? No. No. Okay. I have another one. Let's see. Here we go. Okay. So it says, I am tired. Mm -hmm. Will. Will you? Will you? Everybody agrees that is will you? Yes. yes. Very no. good. Let's take will you. Are you free tomorrow? Sorry. I will. I'm going, I'm going to. to. Are you, I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to. Okay. Yeah, the most of you say going to. So I'm going to take that one. Number three, she can't play with you. Uh-huh. She's going, She's to, going to have a shower. She's going to. Everybody agrees. Good. The next one, number four. What? What are you going to do? Going to do? What me? I will. I will. I will. I will. Will you? Will you? The most of you say will. So I'm going to take will. Number five. I think. I will or going to love that woman. Well, wow, that's good. Going to. Will. 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 Okay. okay. The most of you <laughs> say will, so I'm going to say will. Good. <laughs> I agree. Number six says, okay, it's going to be I'm going to or I'll buy some food. Do you want to come with me? I'm going to. I'm going to. Going I'm going to. to. I'm going to. Do you speak to Sarah? Oh no, I. I, I will. Oh, no. I will. I will. Will or going to? I'm going to. I will. Will. <laughs> we have a little bit more of will, but we have a few of I'm going to. Um. Okay, I'm going to tell you Will because maybe one more says Will. Let's see how it goes. Okay. okay, number eight. Can I have a glass, please? So it's, I'm going to or I'll. I'm going to. 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 Okay, everybody agrees. Number nine. Would you like to go to the cinema? No, sorry. I'm going, I'm, going to, I'm going to. 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 Okay, you agree on this one. Where does that noise come from? I don't know. I have to look. I, have, I will. I will. I have. I look. I will have an. Okay, I'll. So, okay, here comes the moment of the truth, my friends. Se lleva o no se lleva el carro, la puerta número uno, la puerta número 
<laughs> okay, <laughs> let's see how it goes. Good, congratulations. <laughs> nice, nice. So as you can see now that you understand a little bit more how you are going to use will or going to, it's easy, right? Maybe we have like two that we didn't know, we were not sure. I mean, some of you say will and some going to. Uh, let's analyze. The number one, I'm tired. Will you cook? It's like an offering, right? Uh, that is why it's will. But the other one says, sorry, I'm going to start. Yes, because uh, he has a plan already. She can play with you. She's going to also a plan that is something that is decided. What will you do if you win the lottery? Yeah, this is, I mean, with the predictions, we can use will or going to, but most of the people, they use will. So this is better. I think I will always love that woman. Also another prediction, right? Mm -hmm. So I think, but we never know. Uh, number six, I'm going to buy some food. That's because you have a plan already. I mean, you are going to the store right now and you have decided that. Did you speak to Sarah? Oh, no. This is like, oh, my goodness. I didn't remember. I'll phone her right now. So it's in the moment. It's a decision you took right now. Can I have a glass, please? I'm going to drink some water. Also a plan that you have because you need water. Would you like to go to the cinema? No, sorry. I'm going to clean the house. A plan that it was decided before. And the last one, where does that noise come from? I don't know. I'll have a look. That is something that you decided recently, just right now. Okay, so do you have any questions about this? Oh. No, teacher. No. no. Very good. Yeah, 100, that is good. But there was no car, sorry. Okay. So we're going to practice a little bit. Um, since today is Thursday, and we're going to be back for the class this incoming Monday, let's talk about our plans. So I'm going to ask one of you, and then that person is going to ask another person, and we're going to try to use will or going to. Remember that if you have the plan already, you are going to use going to, but if you have probabilities or you don't know, or you have options, you can use will, okay? Also, you can use might. I might do this or this other thing. Might is like 50%. So when you have ideas on what you want to do, you can say, I might clean the house and I might go to the supermarket. So maybe. If you say I will, I will go to the supermarket, is that I probably will. And if you say I'm going to go to the supermarket, it's because that is in the calendar and you already know what is going to happen. So let's see. Um, let's start with a volunteer. Who wants to be the first one? Me. Okay, Gerardo. How are you? Tomorrow I'm going to do my homework. Okay. And maybe I will play soccer with my friend. Good. Yes. 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 What about the weekend? I'm going to my homework. To do my oh. homework. I see. And that homework is from the university or is from English or? University. Okay. What are you studying? Industrial engineer. So you like numbers a lot? Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Nice. May I know what year are you in the university? What year are you studying right now at the university? Four. I'm sorry? Four. Fourth. So yes. you almost finished. That's good. Yeah. Okay, perfect, Gerardo. Thank you for participating. As you can see, you can speak other things, right? It's not only going to and will, of course. Gerardo, now you are going to ask plans and some other things to a classmate. Eh, solo que no estuve presente cuando explicó lo de las preguntas. No, no vi la estructura. Okay, it's very easy. We were saying that going to is when you have plans already. When you have a plan that is for sure, it's going to be uh, going to. Uh, when it's a probability or a prediction, for a prediction you can use will or 
going to. When you refuse is want. When you offer is will. And uh, probably that is the main, the main ones. And you can ask like, what are you going to do on the weekend? And you can ask more information about those activities if you want. Carolina. Carol, you are the one. Okay. Um, I I will the the visited um uh, the beach in the weekend. Okay. Um, I don't know, uh, but. Eh, no estoy segura. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure, yes. Eh, I'm going to at work tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because it's Friday, right? It's yes. <laughs> not Saturday yet. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, which beach are you going to go? Or will you go? Um, Costa del Sol Beach. Oh, I really like that one. Yes. It's very good. Yes. I you know, the last time that I was there, it was like five years ago, I guess. <laughs> I, maybe this year I'm planning to go there. And uh, are you going to drive? Are you going to take a bus? Are you going to go with friends? I, I going to uh, my family. Oh, with your family, good. Yes. Nice, very nice. And are you going to spend the whole weekend there or are you going to just go one day and go back no one day okay mm -hmm. and where exactly are you going there in the uh, in costa del sol um kilometro siete no, okay Kilo siete. Mm -hmm. okay i've never been there so is yes. it beautiful mm, um, it's a uh, family okay mm -hmm. okay very good. Thank you, Carol. Who's Thank next? You. you decide who's next. Um, Arely. Arely. <laughs> Hello. Bonjour. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Um, okay. Um, on the Saturday, I plan. Uh, I'm going place for uh, play with me for tomorrow. For morning, morning. In the morning. Yes. Um, uh, next, teacher, after es después. Or after next? es después. Okay. Next es after. también se puede usar como next or ah. then. Okay. Uh, then uh, I'm going watch a TV. Okay. Uh, I I going to cook for my family okay. all day. All um, day. And Sunday uh, I'm going to relax all day. Very good, nice That's plans. Good. And uh, what are you going to watch on the TV? In my house. But which program? Which show ah, are you going okay, to watch? Okay, okay. I like. I like a uh, watch series. Uh, like TV show, la like sitcoms. Um, no, no, no. Um, ah, oh, okay, okay. No, I don't like. I don't preference. I watch. Uh, Anything. Cualquiera. Any. 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 Okay. Really. And you say that you are going to cook. Do you know what are you going to cook that day or on the weekend on Saturday? Uh, sorry? What are you going to cook? Ah, okay, okay. Mm, okay, I'm going to cook um, fish for the uh, dinner. Oh my goodness, that is very good. And how are you going oh. to cook that one? Uh, oh, uh, I'm going to for morning and Sunday pupusas. 
Oh my goodness, that is good. It sounds very nice. <laughs> Perfect, thank you, Arely. Who is next? Margarita. Margarita. Do you know the Margarita in English is Daisy? Yes. Okay. What are your plans, Margarita? Well, I'm going to do um, my yoga class this Friday. And um, I'm going to cook some chicken fried pastelitos. Oh. <laughs> and Delicious. I, I will do some, no, I, I will go to the market, maybe, <laughs> I'm not sure. And uh, I'm going to watch <laughs> some TV programs or maybe some movies. Okay, very good, interesting. So uh, what movies are you going to watch? Or which one would you prefer? Um, I have no preference, but probably um, something like My Dick or Mysterious, something like that. Do you like horror movies? Mm, not so much. Okay, very good. That's so great. you have, and when you go to the market, what time do you go? Do you usually go? Sorry? When you go to the market, what time do you usually go? Um, well, I'm not used to go. Um, I not really usually go to a cinema, but um, um, I, I prefer see the movies at home. Yeah, it's better, right? That That's yeah. something that I, only when it's a movie that I really want to see the effects and things like that, then I go to the, to the yes. cinema. But other than that, at home, you can eat whatever you want. You can stay wherever you are. You can pause it and you can do whatever you want. Yeah. That's yes. good. <laughs> it's better. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Margarita. Who's next? Um, next will be Elvis. Elvis. My teacher. <clears throat> hey, what are your plans for this weekend? For this weekend, I'm going to go to the church. Okay. I will play soccer. I'm going to, um, how do you say, repartir? Uh, deliver. I'm going to deliver food for homeless people. And I will, I'm going to bake a cake. I'm going to family. Okay. Go to a mountain <clears throat> to go hiking. I will go uh, then I'm going to take some pictures. You are going to be very I busy. I will go ahead, rest go ahead. a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Trust what, me. What time do you go to, be, to the church? I'm sorry. At 2, 6 a.m. To six and to six a.m. to six and thirty p.m. Okay, from six to six thirty. Okay, and uh, you say that you yeah. you you also will deliver some food from the homeless. Uh, is this part of the church or is this part of an, an organization that you do? Yeah, it's it's, uh, it's part of the church. So actually, it's an activity that we will have tomorrow, and so we have to deliver food to homeless people and it's something really really it's something that I want to do 
Yeah, I think it's just it's something very nice. I mean, I I have always wanted to be like a volunteer in things like that, um, and do things like that. Like, I don't know. Sometimes deliver food, or sometimes deliver clothes, or sometimes just speaking with people. Sometimes that is enough. Just the, uh, spend time with people. Sometimes that is good, right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very I don't good. Know if you, I, don't know if you, I don't know if you heard the landslide on the Metapan. I don't know if it's where Metapan, but we deliver, deliver clothes mm. to people that suffer in that place. So we made a collect with the church and then we delivered the clothes. I so, see. To that people. It's very good. Man. That is very, very nice because yeah. you're helping people. And, you know, it's, uh, it's something that is, is very good, not only for the people, but also for you. You feel very nice. That is nice. Yeah. Perfect. Very good job, yeah. Elvis. Okay. Who is going to be next? Okay. Joanna. Joanna, what are your plans? Hello. Good evening. Uh, well, I I don't have too much to do, <laughs> but actually I I will go I going to to the antecedentes penales because I need that paper for a job in the future, and after that maybe I ha I will go to the market because I need to get some bananas for my choco bananas because I I. I, I have a, a little store here and I sell <laughs> choco bananas. Good. And for the weekend, maybe I spend time with my family, uh, with my niece. I, I, I will play with my niece and I will uh, spend time with my parents. That's all. Okay. Very good, very nice. So you have a little store. What else do you sell there in your store? It's just uh, snacks for children, uh, 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 chips and cookies and candies and some some beverage like fruits and little juice, <laughs> things like that. Good. Not that, uh, it's not that big. <laughs> and which one are the most popular? Uh, the fruitsies and the and the chips actually. Uh, also, the kids likes uh, kind of uh, bubble gums that the name is a splot because it's a little bit. Uh, what do you say that is acido? Acid. You can say acid. acid. Mm -hmm. So that kind of candies the the kids likes. I don't know why they really enjoy the, the, the kind of snack with acid or li, li, lemon, 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 I'm lemon. sorry, <laughs> lemon and things like that. Because when I taste it, uh, my, my teeth hurt me. <laughs> it's sour. <laughs> yeah. What is the but, name of those you say? Uh, splats. Splats. I never tried that. Yeah, it's a, a little bit. Uh, that's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's very interesting. Okay, perfect. Thank you for sharing, Joanna. You're welcome. Who is the next? Uh, let's see. Flora. Flora, what are your plans for this incoming weekend? Good evening. Good evening. My plans on... Saturday, I going to work. Um, for Sunday, I'm going to uh, church okay. in the morning, and then going to supermarket in the afternoon. And uh, what time do you usually go to the supermarket? Usually at 3, 3 p.m. Okay. And how long does it take for you uh, to shop there in the supermarket? 
um, two, two or three hours. Yeah, you take your time. That is good. But with my husband. Oh, that's nice. It's even better, right? <laughs> so, and uh, I believe that you go very slow and you check this and the other thing and plan things, right? What you're going to buy. I will, um, I will buy um, food. Okay. Food and things for clean. Okay. Um, maybe going to take a coffee with my husband. Oh, that's nice. That's very good. And uh, do you usually take a list or do you just go in and check? Oh, look at this, look at this. How do you do that? Usually um, I make a list. Okay. But I, I well, myself, I do that as, as well. I go and take a list. But I always bring something that is not on the list, right? That happens to you? Mm. I don't understand. I was telling you that I, myself, I always bring a list to the supermarket. But all the time, I, I buy, I purchase something that is not on the list. Every time. Something that I don't need. So that happens to you? Or just you just buy what is on the list? Everything that is on the list and nothing else. Mm, the list and other other things. Yeah, that happens, so... right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, perfect, Flora. Who is going to be the next? Um, uh, Gerardo. Gerardo was the first one. Oh. Marilyn? Marilyn, good, thank you. Marilyn, what okay. are your plans? Uh, my plans, for example, tomorrow I'm going to work early. Then I'm going to work. I'm going to make the report um, on weekend. And the first, I'm going to visit my grandmother. Also, I'm going to watch the movie. I prefer the movie action. And finally, I per, I'm going to play with my son. Only that. Very good, good plans. And uh, yeah. how long does it take for you to go to your um, grandmother? It was grandmother or mother, I don't know. Yeah, grandmother. I the time. Yeah, how long? Okay. I is I stay uh, only in the morning. Only morning. Okay. Yes. And, and do you know which movie are you going to watch? Oh I I going to the movie I prefer the movie action. In Netflix. Okay. Yeah. But, but you still don't know. You are going to decide that mm -hmm. moment. I'm going to watch a movie. Uh, whatever, whatever movie, only, only action. <laughs> nice. How old is your baby? Oh, my son is two years old. Okay. Yeah. You have to enjoy playing with him a lot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> only we can. I had the time for my kids. And who takes care of him whenever you are working? Oh, my mother. My mother takes my son. Very oh, good. Yeah. And yeah. your mother goes to your place and takes care of the baby there in your place. Um, I live with my mother. Ah, even better, <laughs> right? <laughs> with my house, yes. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Thank you, Marilyn. Thank you for sharing. Uh, who's, who's going to be um, the next? Um, missing. Um, missing teacher. 
is or, missing or, Hilda and Gisela, uh, yes. Hilda. Hilda. Yes. What are your plans? Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. But um, this weekend, uh, I'm going to work part time on Saturday. I will, I don't know if it is correct, it's dye my hair. Okay, yeah. Yes. Uh, I will, um, after I will go to the gym, okay. um, prepare the the meals on Sunday, uh, on Saturday. But on Sunday, I will go running to the Bicentenario Park with my family. I will go to the supermarket. Prepare, I will prepare the ingredients for the pupusas that I make every Sunday. You remember? Right. Yeah, I remember that you told me that, yeah. Yes, yes. And always, family all the weekend okay uh -huh. only right. that mm -hmm. and uh how is going to be the hair i mean uh are you going to dye it blonde or uh, how is going to be the style that you are going to get um, my, my color favorite is um uh, castaño it's like brown light brown the brown yes um uh, I, I don't know uh, Say mecha or highlights. Highlights. Okay. Uh -huh. Highlight. Uh -huh. Yes. Oh, yeah. Nice. And you are a very athletic person. I mean, you say that you go to the gym and also you will go running, right? Yes. Uh, I uh, all the weekend going to the gym three times. Sunday. Uh, all uh, running home. Oh. Okay. Maybe yeah. maybe uh, oh. uh, will, will you uh, carrera carrera race yeah, race huh? race uh, pay, pay race or when I uh, I don't know uh, race always uh, will go running the bicentenario. Mm -hmm. Very Even, good. Yes. And what time do you go to the Bicentenario? Um, seven o'clock. Mm, in the morning, good. Yeah, in the morning, but uh, I I feel happy when I uh, uh, I can do exercise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very nice to be active, right? Yes, because it's very healthy. Nice. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good, Hilda. Uh, could you please tell me um? Well, the only one that is missing, I guess, is Gisela, right? Okay, Gisela. <laughs> okay. What are your plans, Gisela? Um, in tomorrow, I'm going to work at home because we work one day at the office and one day at, at home. So i working in my studies Studios, no sé cómo se dice. Studies, that's good. Uh, a psychology studies and prepare for the next uh, week. In Saturday, I I guess I will to clean the mom's bed, the mom's uh, bedroom because she is a uh, old woman. She is. 86 years old and um, the Sunday in the morning we went to the church and then we eat away and spend some time in family. Uh, for the pandemic we prefer not to visit the beach or crowded, crowded, crowded places. Space. Uh -huh. um, I guess that we continue to we continue to celebrate my birthday because the March 5 eh, me and my husband was in the celebrate the birthday because both um, 
Cumplimos, ¿cómo se dice? We have birthday the same day. We have birthday the same day. Imagine that. That is that is very interesting. I mean, I never met a couple that they have the birthday the same day. Maybe I have met a mother and a son or a daughter, something like that. But a couple I never met. How 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 interesting is that one? Yeah, interesting because which one begin the 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 como pudiera ser the the wish, uh, to the wish, the happiness, happiness days. So sometime is he or me, and we expect who who take the the initiative in the morning when we wake up. <laughs> we see a pop. We see, we see to each other because. Uh, I like that he 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 tell me the first, but in some time I he he expect the same, and it's it's very difficult sometimes. Okay, very interesting. Interesting, uh, very interesting. And uh, I I I think about what you mentioned that you are going to continue celebration. So you celebrate the whole month. Yes, because. With my friends, uh, we celebrate one day at my compañero de trabajo. Co-workers. Co-workers. Uh, today, celebrate in the lunch. We went to the Pizza Hut because it's near to the juice. I work in a juice family. Un juzgado de familia. Okay. Working with just the family, so we need to stay in the office at the specific time. I we don't to pass the the hour because if we did, it's um um llamado de atención. They call your attention. Yes. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, but that is a very, very, uh, this is the very first time that I met. Were you, were you born in the same year? I born in 1966. Okay, and he? And he, uh, he's in 1963. Ah, so you have three years of different, but exactly three years, right? Exactly. In mind, that is interesting. Very good, very good. That is nice very that you can celebrate together. <laughs> yes. Okay. My father and my mom too. Really? Yes. No Her. way. So yes. that is so. <laughs> and I have a nephew that she and her boyfriend, boyfriend, uh, born the same day too. So this is a family matter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> In my, yeah, this is, I mean, this is the very first time and you told me about three already, so that is good. And <laughs> I have two daughters, one of, one born in the same month, like us. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah. In March 25. <laughs> Interesting. So life is like that sometimes. I mean, <laughs> it's, for me, it's difficult that that happens, but you and the family, that is like a little bit common. <laughs> okay. So my friends, um, this was the little practice for today. Um, do you have any question? Oh, teacher. Oh, teacher. I, I have a question, oh, but uh -huh. I have a question, but it's about the exam okay. in the platform. Mm -hmm. This is my first time that I take um, class in the with this platform. So uh, I I feel a, a little difficult, but mm -hmm. I did until uh, reading and comprehension, and up here next I push, but don't appear anything. 
So I don't know if it's at the end of we need to do something because I don't I don't know where where I can find the the note or the the grade the the course uh, to know if we pass or not the the level. Uh, yes. Uh, is there any the platform? Well, for, first of all, let me check about the the uh, the exam. The last part, yes, is the reading and comprehension. So that is it. So if you finish that one, you finish everything. For you to check uh, the grades of all the course, you can go on the top and click where it says progress. And there you will be able to see like a little graphic with all the percentage. And the last bar is going to be the whole percentage of the whole course. So if that one is 80% or more, you made it. And there, also, you will be able to print the certificate. Okay, thanks. It's a pleasure. If you have problems, chat with me and I will help you out, okay? Okay. Very good. Any other question? Mm, okay. Teacher. So, mm. my friends, it was a pleasure to be here with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night and I hope all your plans that you told me and more, uh, you can make it this weekend and all your life and see you next Monday. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.